All right, real quick, we're going to go over removing and installing your front wheel. I have my caliper off right now. I have the wheel off, obviously, already. But removing your front wheel, you just undo that 22 millimeter axle nut, undo all the 10 millimeter pinch bolts on your forks, and you can just push the axle out to the right hand side of the bike. Right now, we're just going to go over installation. I'm going to prep the axle. Prepping the axle, you're just adding grease to it. That's it. And the grease doesn't... Like your wheel bearings are what actually spin. And a lot of people might, or some people might say, like you don't need to leave your axle. But it's just to make it easier for removal and installation. You got a little bit of grease to help you, plus, oh, god damn, I need gloves. And plus, when you go to remove, it makes it a lot easier to remove the axle. So, just easy maintenance shit. It's going to be a long video for fucking removing and installing the front wheel. It's the gloves. Mm-hmm. Glove love. I really hate these gloves. It's just too big. We're using this Maxima, like super tacky. It's it's nice. It's really nice. You don't need much. You're just putting a thin layer on it. Nice thin layer. You don't need a shit ton. Oh yeah. God damn, I'm really getting good at rubbing down these shafts. It's even turning me on. Ugh. Here, we're gonna set this down. Mm. Alright. Rotor on left hand side of the machine. Just gonna roll this guy into place. Gonna need, gonna need this. Make sure my wheel spacers are in there. The longer wheel spacer goes on the left hand side, the shorter wheel spacer goes on the right hand side of the machine. The machine's left and right. Just get in the hole. A little persuasion. We're going to get some actual persuasion. And you just want that to be flush. Let's take you over to this side. You just want this to be pretty much flush. I'm going to have like a little small edge to it, which is no big deal. But you want it to be as close to flush as possible. I'm going to move this one too. All right. I have two different sized bolts right here, uh, or heads. Where do you think you're going, buddy? And you're just going to tighten down this side. 
Tight, snug, and more. Tight, snug, and more. Switch back. Because these are pinch bolts and pairs, it'll cycle between them. That's pretty, pretty tight. I got it. Pretty close. All right, back over to the other side where the axle nut goes. And we're just going to set the axle nut on. And then we're going to give it just a tiny touch. Tiny touch. Not enough to where when you're doing this, it's going to interfere with the actual pinch force. So be careful, don't bend the new rotor. Oh, God damn. I'm sure it's fine. Now, our final tension. When you start picking the bike up off the ground, you're fine. There you go. That's how you install one. I know I didn't show you how to remove it, but it's pretty obvious. When it comes to removing, you just take the axle and off, both, pinch, or both sets of pinch bolts, drive it out. Yeah, cake work, bro. Don't forget to lube it. Catch you on the next one.